Yo guys, what's up? It's Inflexius. Today we're playing Jax vs. Jace Top. I took Phase Rush into the matchup because I didn't know whether I was up against Gangplank or Jace. Usually I take Grasp into Jace. However, I ended up liking the Phase Rush in this matchup, so I'll definitely try it out more. So here we cheese Jace from the bush. Quick combo him, walk away. He queues onto us. I auto him back, and we proc our Phase Rushes. So my goal in this lane is just to secure the shove versus Jace. So I'm going to auto attack minions pretty aggressively here to secure Pryo and try to get a 3 or 4 wave crash. So I'm going to wait for the minion waves to group up here, to settle, and then I'm going to walk at Jace here. Use my E, and I don't even need to hit Jace with the E, I just hit him so that his minions hit me and stack my E, so that I can then use my E as wave clear on his minions. So now I need to last hit these minions as late as possible, so that I stall my minions for as long as possible. Because the minion wave is coming up, I can't crash this wave before before the next minion waves get here, and because I didn't push the wave slower than I did, it's now called right in front of his tower. Now this is really bad, because I can't push it, it's too close to his tower. Now I should just let this wave push towards me, because my window is gone, I can't shove this wave anymore. But I decide to keep shoving, which is incorrect, to try to crash it here. Because now we're in a really awkward spot. Because the wave is pushing towards Jace here, even though he's really chunked out and we've been out trading this Jace, we're in a really dangerous spot because Lee Sin is bot side and Ram is his top side. And we have no vision on the river because we used our ward to spot Ramus's start. We warded his blue at the start to see which jungle camp he started. So this is a really dangerous spot. I really want to crash this wave as fast as I can, but I'm really scared because I don't know if Ramus is just waiting in the river bush for me or not. So we cleared the wave, but at this point Jace has thinned the wave enough that he can just hold it and continue to keep the wave close to his tower. We're going to lose a lot of minions here, but it will push towards us eventually. So I decided to just take the L and just camp in the bush and let the wave push towards me. Because I know I can't push it at this point, it's just not possible. Especially with the Ram is possibly pressuring top lane. So the wave is pushing towards us here, we can just sit on the tower and collect it. But we see Ram is enter the bush, and it looks like they're trying to dive here. So. Ramus queues into me, I use my counter strike before he taunts, jump onto the Ramus, proc phase rush, run away. Jace flashes onto me here. And yeah, I don't really know what that flash was for. I could probably have stayed under tower, but I was worried that they would re-dive me after my E wore off. Now today, Lee Sin is going for a play here, and I don't really want to participate in it because I'm going to lose minions under tower, but I have to help, otherwise he's going to die. And you know what? It ends up with us getting a Ramus out of it, so it's fine. So it's worth, it's perfectly worth, right? 400 gold right there, that's really nice. So, we have to recall here because we have no mana, but Jay sits up another freeze, which is sad, but we had to recall there. We avoid Jace's EQ, that's nice, jump onto him, Q ult to W, and Jace E's us here. Now Jace's E is his main disengage tool in this matchup. If it's ever on cooldown, then you want to try to take advantage of it if he lets you, which he does. We can take an E trade on him here because his E's on cooldown. Now, we have enough burst to take him out here once our Q comes back, and he's still not respecting, so we can just do that, and that gets us a kill. Now, I'm going to go for this plate here with the plan that I'm going to shove this cannon wave so that Jace can't use it to get a plate of his own, but my damage isn't high enough, so I don't clear it fast enough before Jace can get back to lane and insta-shove the wave and just come stop my back. So at this point, it's disaster. We have no mana. And Jace is going to pressure us under our tower. So now we have to take an L. So I'm going to take these melee creeps here, and then I'm going to recall immediately. I have to accept that I'm going to lose this whole next wave, and Jace is going to take a plate. But I can't stop him from doing that anyway. He's going to just keep taking plates off of me if I don't recall. What I should have done is immediately after shoving the wave and crashing it into his tower, I should have just recalled immediately, and then we wouldn't be in this spot. So we see Jace is going for the cannon minion here, and I don't want to give it to him for free. So I'm going to jump onto him here, force a trade. And then immediately just shove the wave here, because then we can go into the river and just take the honey fruit and heal up from that trade. So that was just a free trade for us. Now I don't know if Jace is recalled or not, so I'm just going to hard shove the wave here. So we see Scuttle is spawning. So what I want to do is hard shove this wave, because I don't know if Jace is recalled and I want to punish him if he did recall. And then I should hard shove the next wave instantly, and then use the time I get from hard shoving the next wave to take Scuttle. However, I pull the wave here, which is pretty pointless versus Jace. But... I go for a trade and Ramus just flash taunts me and immediately just throws all the CC he can on me. So I immediately ghost, I use my ultimate and I just start running away and I'm out. Now this Ramus is looking pretty bloodthirsty so I'm just going to recall under my second tier tower here. And here comes Ramus doing what exactly? 
See, in his mind, he's probably thinking that he baited me and wasted my time and stopped my recall, but, uh, I'm just going to wait for his W to wear off and just jump on his head there and, you know, make him pay for that. So, LeBlanc and Lee Sin are topside. They're already covering that tower and collecting that wave. So, I'm going to go mid lane here and defend that tower and collect that wave. Team's calling for a play on the Gangplank. We try for it. Nothing happens. That's fine. Run top lane here to defend the tower from Jace. And Jace keeps pushing. So, I come from behind him here. So, I get my stun. And now I should walk to the other side of the Jace here. Because I don't want to be on the same side that Lee Sin is in relation to the Jace. Because... Then Jace can knock me in the same direction Lee Sin is and run the opposite direction and possibly get away. Now, Lee Sin did end up just kicking Jace into the tower and, you know, uh, destroying him, but, you know, it could have made the difference if that played out differently. So they're making a play onto our Ezreal here. I'm looking to TP in case they push too hard. So I'm waiting for it, and they keep pushing, so I decide to TP in here. I go over, bonk the Ramus to secure the kill, and then I try to jump onto the Sona here, but they're out of range, the bot lane. I could have jumped onto their bot lane first instead of going for the Ramus, but I didn't want Sona to just instant ult me and then use that as a disengage and then Ramus somehow gets away because I didn't go for him. Like, getting zero kills there would have been super sad. So I just went for the secured kill. Now I'm trying to push for this tower here, but Gangplank is here to defend it. But I feel like I'm pretty strong, so I actually want to try to take this tower out of him, out from under him here. So I bait out his barrel and then I just start beating on the tower here. I tank a barrel here. I get ignited, and now I have my Counter-Strike up. I'm going to try to burst him before my Counter-Strike wears off, but he unfortunately does survive and take me out. And obviously not worth. I give Gangplank 700 gold, which is not what you want to see, right? For a tower, that's just not worth it. But I'm going to run straight back down to Dragon here to secure it for my team in case a fight breaks out, in case the enemy team contests it. And then I'm going to run bot lane here. And Gangplank is clearing the wave, and he seems to be alone. So I'm just going to, you know, beat on him. I have Phase Rush. There's no way he gets away. And there we go, we get ourselves our revenge. So I'm immediately going to shove this wave here, try to get it to crash into their tower. And there's a Ramus in this bush, so I'm even just going to hit him and then just freaking run away with the phase rush because I don't know if he has friends there, and we see Jace, so Jace was on his way. So I'm immediately going to run bot lane again after recalling to catch that wave and then shove the next one. We see Jace moving up to mid lane, so that means this wave is going to be completely uncontested. We can maybe even look for the second tier tower here. And I do want to go for it, but a fight breaks out. So I'm going to go over here to help them, in case they need it. I have her just out of vision here. They're really messing them up, but Bart gets gotten by a JCEQ. Now, I go for the pink Q because I feel like Ezreal's pretty much disengaged, but he starts kiting back towards me. So I'm going to jump out here to help him out. I try to disengage here, which I can because Phase Rush just ignores the GP barrel, but Ramus comes from behind and just full combos the Ezreal. I can't really do much versus the Ramus, but I can go and get the Sivir, which I do manage to do. Now I'm just going to walk out here. Leap to the Lee Sin. Ramus is still chasing me. Lee Sin is trying for the Gangplank. I'm just going to hover over here. Ramus is going for the Lee Sin. I'm going to try to see if I can help out. Jump onto the Ramus. Stun him and the phase rush away. I wasn't even needed to peel the Lee Sin there. The Bard ult did that well enough. But I like to think it's a thought that counts. But we're not done yet because LeBlanc is coming in from the flank. So I'm going to pop my Ghost. Jump onto the Sona here. Take her out. And I still have Ghost left over for the J, so I'm going to jump onto him too. And just combo him. I have the phase rush running, I have the ghost running, there's no way he gets away at that point. So we get that last auto. And now I just shove the wave in here, and we get our Spear of Shojin. Now I run bot lane here to apply pressure. Baron's coming up, I have my TP for it, if I need to. And I want to keep applying pressure bot lane, maybe take towers even. Jace combos me from the bush. He's too close to his tower, and between phase rush and the knockback, there's no way I can retaliate. So I'm going to check the river for some honey fruit, and then I'm going to run back bot lane here. Just shove the wave up here. Jace is going for the ward here, so I'm going to defend it. Just combo him back. And Ramis starts his power ball, so he's looking to make a play on me maybe. So I'm just going to walk over to the hex gate here, and not even close. So dragon is spawning soon, so we do want to play around that. I want to shove bot lane out here so that we can have bot prior for the dragon fight. However, there's some action going on in mid lane. Our bot lane is kind of fist fighting it here. And I don't want to lose our bot lane just before dragon fight. That would be freaking sad. So I'm going to TP here immediately. Unfortunately, Ezreal does go down to the Ramus here. But Lee Sin and LeBlanc are in a good position here. So maybe we can just get the Sivir who's kind of frontlining over there. So that's ADC for ADC there. And their Grand Plank is down as well. So that's two for one. And we're not even done yet because we can even get the Ramus here maybe. So we're just going to beat on him here, stand on top of him so that he can't powerball away. 
Ramus is still looking for this bard, and we managed to get the Ramus. Lee Sin Ping said he wants to do dragon, but dragon should be secured, even without my help. So instead, what I'm going to do is go mid, shove a wave, shove a tower, and then get a red buff. And that's so much better than just helping with the dragon, right? So now I'm going to recall. And the other two lanes are already being covered by my teammates. And there's a huge wave of pushing bot lane. So I'm going to go collect that. But Gangplank continues pushing. So I'm actually just going to go for the Gangplank first. I have red buff. I have ghost. There's no way he gets away, right? I just beat on him. He even flashes. But that flash is just no hope. That flash is completely wasted. There's no way he gets away from me. Especially since I have phase rush. So I ward here. And I kind of want to play for the bot lane tower here. But... Jace is probably going for it, so I instead decide to rotate towards it, preemptively, knowing that Jace is probably going to go defend it. And that gives us a number advantage on this play here. We make a Baron call because we got their ADC. Unfortunately, Bard does go down because he was chasing their Sona. LeBlanc gets hit by a Jace EQ. Remus Blast cones in, but we get the Baron. He immediately ults out. We hop over the wall. Now, we should be looking to 100% disengage here. We do not want this fight. We're messed up. Unfortunately, Ezreal does get hit by the Gangplank Barrel here. I'm looking for maybe something. They eat me away, that's fine. I'm perfectly fine to disengage there because I do not want that fight. So now I'm going to run top lane immediately. Shove the wave here. And the next one. Keep this wave shoved in. I have TP if it's needed. Now here, after GP clears this wave, he might rotate mid, so I'm going to hide just out of vision and try to catch him around this corner. But GP hits me with the barrel there. Now, I don't know if they had vision here or not, but if GP used that barrel to check to see if I was camping there, then that's well played by the GP. Smart, that's a smart GP right there. So I'm looking for a play here. There's a fight going on here, but I don't actually want to take it because LeBlanc is bot side. So I don't want to fight a 4v5 if it's not necessary. So I'm just going to shove the wave here again, and maybe look for this tower. Now Sivir's beating on me, but she's not quite as scary as Gangplank, so I'm just going to tank her. And... Take the tower and leave. So now Dragon's up. This is Soul, so we're going to definitely play for that. LeBlanc lands a root on the Ramus. The board is kind of AFK, so this is kind of a 4v5, and LeBlanc is pretty much chunked out, so now it's a 3v5. I see the opening though, and I jump onto the Sona. Remus taunts me to peel. I R for resistances, phase rush away, wait for my E to come back before I jump back in, one shot the Sivir, land the double stun, Sterex procs, and we can just keep fighting here. And at that point they blew so much on me that I made so much space for the Ezreal so that he could just free damage them. So we get the dragon here, it is pretty much secured, so that's why I decided to go farm instead because I want to farm for my next item, instead of assisting a secured dragon already. And then we can run bot lane here. Bard's still AFK, just standing there watching me farm. Good stuff, that's what we like to see. Shove another wave in here. Ramus kind of looks like he wants to do a play on me, so I back out. Our team is mid lane again, and Ramus is looking to make a play on them, so I'm going to ward hop over here to get a flank onto the Gangplank. Start beating on the Gangplank here. Finish him off. Counter-Strike, beat on the Jace, but jump onto the Sona because I want to finish her off. Jump onto the Remus, which slows the Jace from the Hextech Soul, which just seals his fate. We take the Inhibitor here. The Nexus Towers. And yeah, that's that. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hope to see you in the next one.